guys, if you want to add a C name into your DNS Zone Manager in GoDaddy, then this tutorial will show you how that works. So if you are interested in that, stay tuned because I'm going to show you how. Without further ado, one, two, three. First is, of course, you need to log into the GoDaddy and go into the My Products. So under the My Products, basically, you can see the domain section and then like there are some options here like website and marketing, web hosting, and so on and so forth. So let's just touch the domain section, okay? And then here, if you check this part, you can see all of the domains that you purchase if you sign it to GoDaddy. Now, I want to add, so I'm going to use this domain here, and I want to follow this instruction along to um, register a custom domain in this specific platform, okay? So click this part here called Manage button. So let me just copy this part here this is the domain that i want to use and then put that then i will of course i want it to be set as a default domain um here it says that you need to log into the register account so we've already done that and then you need to go into the dns records okay so let's go into the manage dns section and then in this part, so we have this name server over here, and then we also have this DNS information. Now, I use SiteBrown in this domain before, so I want this to um, use the, what do you call that? I, I want to set it by default, okay? So I want to replace it in GoDaddy so I can access the name server, okay? So click the yes here. Because normally, you can, if you haven't touched anything yet into your domain, your no, name server should be the GoDaddy server, okay? Now, after I, so an available, I probably need to, okay. So I already set the name server to GoDaddy and I can now access the records because it's ready a GoDaddy name server. Now let's follow this instruction over here. So it says that you need to add A records to your website. So to add an A records, so click this add and you select the A records and then what would be the host? So the host would be this one. So, so the host would be this one. So you click this one, and then first is what would be like your host, the name of your host. So you can put that or point that into this IP, and then you choose this dollar sign to have. It means basically a you are selecting your website. Okay, so if you click this what that one. Oh, that's how you can add an A server. The other thing as well is how you can put in a C name. So they, they provide it as a two option to do it. Um, for the C name, I mean, you don't need to put everything. Like, I'm just ask, I'm just telling you with you how you can add a C name. So to add a C name, since our, our tutorial is about the C name, let me just delete this one here. Delete. Let's add a C name. So click the, I, I need to remove this one. So remove first. So let's just remove that first. Okay, click that and then type in C name. And then the host would be www. And then this pointing to that C name. We could use one R T T L. Please error. And um, just type in asterisk. Let's do that. We have that. And then you click this add. Learn Girls is always my recommendation to my clients every time they want to create an online course. You can use the link below to get a 3 days free trial and see if Learn Girls 
to create for you. I also have tutorials about Learn World, so check out my description or I'm gonna put it in here to see some of my tutorials in Learn World. I tell you, there's a lot of features in Learn World that could be really helpful for your marketing strategy. Let's get back to the tutorial. So if we did right, it should be says, like if you see here, domain save successfully, these changes will take 20, um, 10 minutes to be accessed. So we have able to point it out. So that's basically how it works. If it's not working, normally you cannot complete the process. So that's just basically how you can add a C name and A records to your GoDaddy. That's it. Hope it helps. Now, if your name server is not GoDaddy, this one will be disabled, just like what we see earlier. You can access the A records to the hosting provider. So let's just pretend that this is still site ground. And if you want to add up something into your A records, you need to log into your site ground account. And then let's just say I have this. Because I still have, I still registered the domain. So go into the site tools. And then there is an options over here called CNS Zone Editor. And I'll show you where you can access that. So control K or you click this um, search thing in here. And then type in DNS Zone Editor. This one. And here, this is how you can add on your A records. So you can leave empty if you want to target the root directory and one R and then what will be the IPv address. So the IPv address is earlier what we did earlier. So I just forgot the, I forgot the IP number, but you just need to put it there. Now, if it is a C name, still the same. You just keep this empty to target the root directory and then one R and then that one. I wonder why it's not working. Yeah, you can use as, um, asterisk. Sometimes it just let you to keep it empty or you need to put it WW or the general way is just to put an asterisk into your C name. So that's basically how it works. Thank you.